Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Shadow Drone here. I completed the power control module for the new laser, and it works. Okay, so um, I haven't hooked up the laser yet, which is right here. Okay. You can see it compared to the original laser, which is right there. That needs to be mounted to that. That's the next step. Okay. At this point, I managed to upgrade from 12 volt to 24 volts using the existing 12 volt system by using a block voltage converter, which you see here. Uh, as you can see, I finished my box. Uh, this is my main power button and this is the emergency stop. Okay, so the way this works is it's connected to the computer um, software. So I currently already made the serial connection to the software and I've powered on the laser in the software. So at this point, the 12 volt laser connection right there on the board is powered, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and power on the main power, which you see here. This brings on the voltage um, controller which at this point is set at 24.3 volts. So I can bring it down to 24.1. Okay, so it's set at 24.1. Now, even though the main power is on, I still need to hit this power to power on the power power, to power the laser. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. And I just powered on the laser. The laser is now working off the 12 volt system using that uh, voltage control, which basically boosts the volts. And now this here is wired straight to the laser in case I have to do an emergency power off. Okay, so by hitting this, it will only power off the laser, not the main power, which supplies power to the whole system and the uh, power amplifier okay and the reason you want to do that is because it takes a while it takes a few milliseconds for the 12 volts to be boosted to 24 volts and if you cut the power to this module what's going to happen is you're going to lose that buffer and if the laser has to blink on and off okay for when it does uh cutting or carving then the delay is going to be a lot longer than what you want it to be so now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to push in the reset button, okay, which I'm going to do right now. See if I can get both of it. Okay, so you can see the you can see the button and you can see the laser. Ready? The laser's done. See that? And if I want to reactivate it, I just twist this and it powers on the laser again. See that? There you go. So it works. Um, thank God. It's only taken me almost a month to do this. So, um, yeah. All done. So, the next step is going to be to mount that 40 water on here. And then get it calibrated in height. And then I need to figure out the software that I'm using. It does not have manual switches for your limiter switches. So, I have to program in in the software what my limitations are. And then once I've done that, then she's ready to go. So um, this has been a very educational project. I've enjoyed it. Uh, now I have a laser cutter slash laser engraver. So if any of you guys, I hope this helps you guys out in case you're thinking of doing the same. At this point, based on my research and everything that I had to do to get it to work, um, I don't. it's worth the work, uh, especially since you don't have to figure out what all I had to come up with to make it work. So you can learn from my experience and make your build a lot easier. Unless you plan on staying with a standard 12 volt system, which is what this is. Uh, then you don't have to do any mods, you just plug and go. But if you want to upgrade to a 24 volt laser, I suggest you follow my instructions on that. Okay? Uh, then again, I cannot be responsible for anything that may happen to you, so please be careful and use common sense when you're working with this kind of stuff. Alright guys, 
I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, or any input. Uh, always appreciate it. All right, guys. Take care. Shadow Drone out. Laser Project complete.